this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Fabiano Caruana and Francisco Valaya Pons. This game was played in Sao Paulo in 2012. And where is Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo is a city in Brazil. Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started with e4. Valeo Pons played e6, d4, d5, French defense. e5, advanced variation of French defense. c5, c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, queen to b6. More pressure on the pawn on d4. White to move. These are the most played moves by white in this position. Bishop to d3. Bishop to e2. Knight to a3. And a3. Move played in the game. Preparing b4. Knight to h6. And Caruana played b4. If bishop takes knight, then the queen takes on b2 attacking the rook. So we have b4. c takes on d4. c takes on d4. Knight to f5. Three pieces attacking the pawn on d4. Bishop to e3. Bishop to d7. Bishop to d3. Knight takes bishop. Pawn takes knight. g6. Who is better? White or black? Black has a bishop here. White has a space advantage. And bishops are not very effective in close position, are they? Knight to c3. It is black to move. You would expect perhaps bishop to g7, wouldn't you? Valeo Pons decided to make the most of his bishop here. How? He sacrificed a piece on b4. Knight takes on b4 was played. Pawn takes knight. Bishop takes on b4, attacking the knight. How should white defend the knight? Caruana didn't. He just castled kingside. Bishop takes knight, attacking the rook. Black is two pawns up. Rook to c1. Rook to c8. Knight to g5. Valeo pawns cast at kingside. Queen to g4. Bishop to d2 attacking the rook. Queen to h3 threatening checkmate. h5. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook. Queen to f3. What is white threatening with this move? White is threatening bishop takes on g6 and if pawn takes bishop, queen takes rook. Let's have a look. A random move. If a6, bishop takes on g6, black is advised not to capture the bishop because of queen takes rook. Check mate. Hmm. Black to move. How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best defensive move. Valeo Pons played queen to d8. Taking care of the threat, bishop takes pawn on g6. There was a better move. Let's take this back. It appears that queen to c7 is the best move.
and bishop takes and g6 doesn't work now because of bishop takes pawn on a3 if a king goes to h1 bishop takes knight so queen takes bishop then pawn takes bishop on g6 black is in the game rook to f6 perhaps black couldn't find this move then this is defending g6 and after say rook takes rook king takes rook this is just not possible now to show you that black is defending okay let's go back to our game in the game you have queen to d8 so the k is taken of this bishop takes pawn on g6 let's have a look if bishop takes on g6 then queen takes knight but black missed something we have reached the critical position of the game for the purpose of our exercise it is white to move please pause the video and try to find the best move for white ready what did you find corona captured the pawn on a seven at night bishop takes pawn on e3 check king to h1 queen to h4 bishop takes pawn on g6 bishop to g5 it is white move white play the move when black resigned what is the move Caruana played bishop to h7 while your pawns resigned if king goes to g7 how would white continue then what do you think Can you see a move for white? Then queen to d3, threatening queen to g6, checkmate. There is no solution. One line goes like this. Rook takes knight. Then queen to g6, check. King to f8. Queen takes rook. Check. Mate. That was a very interesting game, wasn't it? and black was doing quite well until this very critical position when he didn't find the queen to c7 hmm. what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now